Okay, let's just set the record straight on something. Partly because I'm curious, partly because I'm sick of being annoyed by that. Oh, here's a chancy. No, I'm not talking about that, though it can be annoying too. And yeah, I use fly because, well, uh, special attacks aren't exactly gonna be able to cut it. Wow, it's got so much HP, that HP bar was actually stuttering. No joke, you wanna rewind that, it was, well, it, if an HP bar could stutter, that's exactly what it would like. But back to what I was saying, can anyone tell me what's the point of claiming the first comment on a YouTube video or a fail blog image or on anything on the internet? Like, am I missing something? Is it supposed to make you look cool or something? No. No, it isn't. It doesn't make you look cool. It makes you look like an idiot. Like yesterday, there was this one guy who kept claiming the first comment on part 92 over and over and over, and I kept deleting it over and over and over, because that kind of garbage doesn't belong on YouTube or Failblog or, or anything else. Heck, even on social boards all across the web, this practice is considered disruptive posting. So why should I tolerate it as a as a as a conscious and um, well uh, I don't know how I could qualify myself uh, when it comes to regulating uh, messages in my uh, comment boxes but whatever you get the idea it's not like it's anything even remotely useful like something you'd put on your resume I could only imagine that so here we have this candidate who has a PhD and speaks 11 different languages and we've got this other candidate who has uh, 32 years of experience and then there's there's this other guy who has the first comment on a YouTube video with 300 views. Wow, this guy's a real go-getter! This is exactly what our company needs! So, it's not fun, it's not useful, it's just annoying, that's it! And speaking of annoying, I am having quite a bit of trouble with this wild chancy here because of minimize and minimize and defense curl and minimize again. I hate evasion moves so much. They better never ever be unbanned. They are really annoying. That's all they do too, in fact, and that's why they're banned. Now, while I'm still in Cerulean Cave, a little random fact. Uh, the Lapis Cave in Mystery Dungeon 1 was called Cerulean Cave in uh, the Japanese version, but they changed it to Lapis Cave in, uh, in the English version in order to avoid confusion. And speaking of Japanese names for dungeons, Mount Freeze was apparently called the Sacred Mountain of Ice and Snow. Wow, that that's a long name for a dungeon. And yeah, that's the one where with nine tails at the top. And that dungeon is most notorious for being where a lot of people go to try and catch Articuno. But Art but Articuno is not there. It's in Frosty Forest. Like eh, Zabdos is in Mount Thunder. Moltres is in Mount Blaze. But Articuno is in Frosty Forest. Didn't these people remember the exile arc of the game where you encountered the Articuno in Frosty Forest on your first time through and then you went to Mount Freeze to see Ninetales but then you were confronted by Team ACT before Ninetales got there. And that's one of my pet peeves about the, that game. You never got to fight uh, Team ACT. That was a perfect opportunity. Why didn't they exploit it and, ha and give you a boss fight in, in that dungeon? It would have been a pretty kick-ass one too. But there's just one problem of course and that is that when they would have gone down the Magma Cavern to face Groudon, uh, your team would have all been like, well, didn't we kick your butts into the next century back at Mount Freeze? So I can sort of understand uh, why they didn't uh, put a battle there. Ugh, I hate those random battles so much. Hey, I especially hate when you're like two, you're like just two steps away from the exit and now, 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 ah! Anyway, this is the last random encounter in this LP. Hopefully, there better not be one right there. Nope, I am out of there, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to fly to the Cerulean City Pokemon Center. 
to heal my team and I'm going to uh, put uh, Krabby in the PC and grab Mewtwo instead and Mewtwo's got junk moves like Swift and Barrier I think I'm gonna replace those with Thunder and Blizzard uh, Blizzard because well it's probably the best offensive move outside of Psychic in this game and Thunder because well it goes well with Blizzard but since I had already used my Thunderbolt TM on uh, Gengar so there goes Krabby now I'm going to grab Mewtwo I really hope the lack of EVs doesn't affect things too much and I know I got a lot of people curious as to what that little extra I promised was gonna be and Quite frankly, I was sure someone would guess it right, but no one did, no one knew what I had in store for you, and maybe that's for the best, it's probably a much more obscure trick than I thought it would be. Not that I'm complaining, because it it's really more fun when no one knows what it is, because if everyone knows, then there is absolutely no surprise, so... I'm gonna put Thunder there, and I was right, the, the junk moves were Swift and Barrier off Mewtwo's 90 base attack. Well, 90 is not too bad, and not in the first generation at least, but it's nothing compared to that 154 special, both for attack and defense on top of that. Okay, now Mewtwo has all the moves it needs, so I'm gonna put it in the lead, and after that, it's going to be time to head for the game's one last challenge.